Hey, this is Tushar and I'm going to show you how to install, download and install the BlueStacks app player which runs uh, Android applications on Windows. As you can see, this is Windows Vista and I uh, hope you find the link, the download link in the blog post itself. Uh, I think it will lead you to this sort of a place, as you can see BlueStacks and uh, it's here BlueStacks app player alpha it's free and it's for available for download or you can just log on to bluestacks.com slash download.html and just press download now and download the application and as you can see I have already downloaded it which because it's like a 117 MB file so all you have to do now is just double click and a dialog box, dialog box opens which which is the normal one you know which, which asks you to run it you have uh, been here before right I mean you have installed applications before so it's nothing not, it's nothing new just press run and uh, you know the next and whatever and uh, the application will be installed and now the next thing what you have to do is again pretty easy you can see there's a sidebar here there's uh, my twitter going on there's my RSS feeder some calendar just press on add gadgets as you can see a dialog dialogue box opens and uh, here it is yeah the blue stacks gadget just add it I mean just double click it and here it is here it is actually I'll open it again before so we have two couple of them right now I'll just all you have to do is just click on it and uh, here we are the preloaded 10 apps provided by BlueStack themselves what do we have here we have Bloomberg we have Drag Racing, Words, Pulse, there's Talking Tom again there is uh, more uh, yeah, get more apps is actually a uh, BlueStack's Cloud Connect we will get more detailed into it a little later and this is again some bubble buster game uh, let me show you something here. Uh, let's try the pulse. Okay. As you can see, it's a full screen app. That's the brilliance. And as you can see, it's it's simple. It's Android-like. It's brilliant. And as you see that bar below. Okay. That is what helps us. That is what actually makes this into an Android app this as you can see is the options button it gives you the options and here you can see why it's android like uh, the options there's zoom this is the zoom this is the rotate app which is actually more usable for the tablets windows tablets this is this will again go back to the main app this is the close app and this is the back okay yeah one more thing uh, in this it's actually like it's actually touch related like if you want to say scroll down in touch you would actually press and go up right this is how you use your mouse this is how you scroll with the mouse as you can see my mouse is little there and if I if I try to scroll down as you can see it just goes up it's actually like this if I scroll down it's actually going like this scroll down and hence you have to actually scroll up to go down I'm actually scrolling up to go down yeah that is one of the things I had noticed which I thought would be worth mentioning as you can see it, it runs pretty smoothly there's no lag it's not hanging up at all it's, it's pretty nice uh, let's try some game uh, let's try drag racing as you can see it's and here we are again a full screen app looks really nice and let me show you how it plays let's click on next race and here we are you have, you have to actually click on the accelerator here and I'm on and oh whatever a little bit here perfect shift I'm pretty good at this actually not bad eh as you can see the graphics are pretty nice I mean it's, it's playing so smoothly there's no lag there's nothing absolutely nothing here yep I'm a little losing I have to exit the I can't lose I mean you can see that right 
<laughs> anyways and uh, yeah get more apps this is again uh, something like an uh, Android app, ma app market okay so they have some basic apps right now here not many but I think they'll add to it for sure there's a gadget there is chess there is games like some memory trainer some football app as you can see there's like many things okay let's let's subscribe to memory trainer okay this is the memory trainer the dialog box opens and it says it will be downloaded to your PC shortly okay it has been subscribed now as you can see so whenever you come back here it will tell you to which ones you have subscribed to I have actually subscribed to a couple of them before some wall newspapers and I think one more somewhere yep the mini golf as you can see just brilliant I mean this is the windows let me show you again this is windows the normal operating system and I have not done anything I have just installed the app player and here I am going around some android apps oh let's just try this one talking dom I think you'll have fun with this though I'm not too sure how it goes okay yeah all you have to do is just use the mouse here it's your uh, finger to touch it I guess yeah here it is oh, let's just try zooming it a little shall we I think whenever you zoom it the whole application is restarted yep hello hello as you can see it works Hey Tom. Hey Tom. Yep, it works very really alright. And I think we still haven't. We're still not done with the. Oh yeah, here it is, the memory trainer. See, we had subscribed for it, and and it shows a notification also. Memory trainer has been installed. And yep, here it is. I don't want to go about it uh, anyways so here it is the blue stacks app player it runs pretty smooth the games as you saw were pretty nice I think this is something to look forward to I'm really looking forward to the beta version I hope you enjoyed enjoyed this video thanks